Ontario. It's a great word. I love the way it sounds when you say it. Ontario. Ontario comes from an indigenous word. It may mean great lake, lake of shining waters, beautiful lake, or sparkling waters. But in winter, the only thing that's shining is the ice. The ice formations along the lake in winter are truly something to behold. It makes weird alien-like sculptures all along the shoreline. These wild ice formations can form over slushy waters over the lakes during the winter. As chunks of ice collide, they form elevated, rounded shapes that look like donuts. They're very cool, and I love the way they undulate as the waves come in and out. Lake Ontario, one of the five Great Lakes, was formed 11,000 years ago, and at its deepest is 800 feet deep. It has only frozen over at least five times, the last time in 1934. If you're not shy about braving the cold, it really is an otherworldly landscape. About 50 people have swum across the lake. If that doesn't make you feel inadequate, this will. But on September 8, 1954, a young girl from Toronto named Marilyn Bell started her swim across Lake Ontario from Youngstown, New York. She was the first person ever to swim the 32-mile distance. She swam for almost 21 hours. She was a national hero in 1954. Thousands waited on the shoreline for her to finish. She's 83 now. She lives in the United States. And she's still swimming. So while I might not be able to swim across this lake, I can certainly enjoy its beauty in all kinds of weather.